going to use that opportunity to go and, and indoctrinate these kids with your street ghetto philosophy certain point if you raise your level of income to the status of a rock star then uh -huh, uh -huh, then, right. then you got to keep coming up with ways to maintain that status we i mean i'm not even i'm not even saying eat meat but at least put some cereal in the milk come on <laughs> you that's like taking 666 the mark of the beast and redefining it like biggie tried to do and saying no it means this or that no, 666 is 666, you can call it holy 666, but it's still the mark of the beast. Convenient, whether it's welcome or unwelcome, you as preachers of the word are to show people in what way their lives are wrong. We welcome you now to a true church perspective with Pastor G. Craig Lewis. Blessings to all. This is G. Craig Lewis here again with another True Church Perspective. And you can catch us here every Sunday at 930 a.m. You can get us on your radio dial at Heaven 97 KHVN in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex area. Or you can get us streaming live on the Internet at true-church.org. And for the last couple of weeks, we've been dealing with walking out deliverance. Very important messages when it comes to us as saints of God being free from things that had us bound, being free from mindsets, being free from attitudes, being free from just demonic intervention altogether. You know, it's not always about a demon being cast out of someone, although I believe in that. I believe in casting devils out of people and, you know, those that are bound by demons or possessed by demons. I understand that. And we're not by any means belittling that, but we're dealing with another aspect of deliverance as it pertains to our day to day walk and maybe some traumatic events that have taken place in our lives and some things that are hurtful that have happened to us and it's caused us to react a certain way, to behave a certain way, to live a certain way. When it's basically under our privilege that we're living, we're living, you know, in deficits that we don't have to live in. And and, and we have issues, you know, uh, that we don't have to deal with. We can be free from these things. This is what the power of God is all about. This is what coming to Christ is all about. I did a daily word. I do a daily word Monday through Friday. Every morning we send it out to thousands of people each uh, morning. God has blessed us with some great ones that I've written down through the years and one that we uh, released last week was called pulling it down and that is the aspect of walking out deliverance that I want to deal with today pulling it down speaking of strongholds being pulled down people really enjoyed it and it really blessed you know hundreds of thousands of people and I'm telling you y'all it, it, it's very important that we understand how the enemy has lodged himself in our lives with us being unaware of it you know sometimes you know as far as a demon possessing someone you're talking about a spirit actually taking a person's body and using their body uh, for his own benefit but when we're talking about you know uh, strongholds we're talking about the enemy being undetected and literally hiding behind a behavior or something that a person does we're talking about the enemy hiding behind something that a person is doing that gives him opportunity to hide if we really want to define strongholds let's go to second corinthians 10 and 4 and 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 begin Again, to talk about strongholds where the scripture tells us the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. So there's a lot in this particular verse. It's telling us that we don't fight this stronghold with carnal weapons. That means we can't use, you know, mind control or we can't use Dianetics or we can't use a lot of different psychiatric methods to deal with strongholds. You know, a lot of people like to open up their past to psychologists that use spiritual methods to get into their heads and find out what's going on and you know I'm not saying there's anything wrong with spiritual counseling but it needs to be a Christian I'm not saying there's anything wrong with submitting yourself to someone and them helping you deal with your past and different things that are hard to deal with maybe some things you've done I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but if you are a believer you know your mind belongs to God your human spirit is reserved unto God so you cannot allow a person that is not 
covered spiritually or a person that does not know how to use spiritual weapons to deal with spiritual issues. Uh, you can't allow carnal uh, methods to deal with the spiritual issues because when we're talking about a spiritual stronghold in your life, then there is a spiritual method. And we're going to talk about these spiritual methods in dealing with these things. But we have to be very careful, be careful, saying of God, to not submit yourself to certain people and certain ones that would come and see this as an opportunity to get in your head, bring up your past, cause a lot of depression and hypnotize you and, you know, all kinds of things that will lead to even more spiritual infestation. We want to make sure we protect, like the Bible says, guard our hearts and our minds so that if a person is with the plan of God and a servant of Jesus Christ only, then they are the ones that God has, I, I believe, ordained to deal with us when we need help. But defining a stronghold, Webster's defined it as a place that has been fortified so as to protect it against attack. So it's a place, let's use a cave, because in the scriptures, uh, David hid in, in the stronghold of Koresh from his son Absalom. And this is a, a literal cave. I talk about it all the time, but it's very important that you get it. It's a literal cave where you would pull a rock behind you and this rock would protect you. It would look just like the cave. So whatever's in that cave goes undetected. You can't see it. You don't know it's there because the rock camouflages it and looks just like a cave. And so this creates a stronghold. Well, how does that pertain in the spirit? Well, in the spirit realm, a stronghold is the same thing. It's where the enemy has a place in your life and he pulls a camouflage rock behind him to hide in a certain area. And that area is usually a behavior or something that has happened to you. And the enemy is hiding in that place. And that place is reserved for him and it protects him. The rock, the camouflage, you not being able to detect it that protects him so he can always have a place this is where you go to the altar and you give your life to the Lord and you say Lord I'm not going to do it again God I thank you God I've been delivered and then a few days later something happens and you're right back there you're right back at that place and and the enemy has brought you back to that sin or to whatever that was and now you're disappointed in yourself and you're trying to figure out why is this thing constantly coming back on me even after I'm claiming deliverance and believing that I'm delivered. Well, there is a place in your life. There is something that is triggering the enemy and causing the enemy to have a place to hide in your life. There is something going on in your mind, in your behavior, in your emotions. There's something that the enemy is using as a key and a door to enter in. And then he's pulling a camouflage rock behind him and he's hiding. But we want to find out what that is. And we're going to use this particular message to help you to find Find out where the enemy is coming from, why he's hiding and how to get rid of him. Strongholds block your path to deliverance. So when you want to walk out true deliverance, a stronghold will keep you going back. It's holding you strong. It'll keep you falling. It'll keep you falling and disappointing yourself. And yeah, I believe God will forgive you. I believe he'll keep forgiving you. But can you keep forgiving yourself? It'll begin to weaken your own resolve. It'll, it'll weaken your own mind. Mindset. It'll re weaken your own body. You'll begin to even get physically sick if you continue to disappoint yourself and let yourself down when you really want to do what is right and walk in the path that God has for you. Understand something, people. It's not always about getting away with sin. I know folks say, well, once saved, always saved. But a lot of times when you go against the moral code of your own body, when you go against the moral code of your own mind and knowing what the word says and you continue to disobey it and fall that will definitely affect your own mind, your own health, your own body. You'll begin to have your own health deteriorate because you can't deal with what you are doing to yourself. The Bible even tells us in the case of sexual sin and sexual perversion, you are actually sinning against your own body body. So there are a lot of things that, that happen to us when we want to continue to practice sin and live a lifestyle like that. God is trying to save your life and keep
keep you from falling so you don't have to deal with the guilt, the shame and all these things that may come to cause physical ailments that may come to cause you to not connect with God like you want to not hear God like you want to. And then you have to basically live a lie. You have to be a hypocrite and you have to pretend something is right when something is very, very wrong. So a stronghold will block your path to deliverance. Remember that now a stronghold is a cave with a rock that camouflages the place where a person is hitting or hidden like David. So in the spirit, that is the enemy. And that rock is usually your personality because a stronghold is a place of strength that protects the one inside as well as hides them. So the devil is not just hiding in a stronghold, but he is actually protected by the stronghold. That means that it's hard for you to get to him. That means it's hard for you to deal with him. It means that it's almost impossible for you to cast him out if he is hiding. Understand what I'm saying? If he is hiding, if he's hidden, then you can't can't deal with him and it becomes something that you just continue to fall to continue to give in to and it wrecks and ruins your walk with Christ strongholds are usually birthed through our past experiences and many times created to deal with trauma so we, you know we hear this a lot even in psychiatry we hear this a lot in you know a lot of other methods new age methods and different things where they associate pain with hiding something into your your, you know, your, your relative mind, subconscious and your, your, your unconscious mind and all these different things that they teach in these different methods of, of freeing your mind from things. But we know that the Bible lays this thing out to us plain and simple. He gave us a method of dealing with these things according to the scripture. He tells us that our weapons are not carnal, but they're mighty for the pulling down of stronghold, casting down imaginations, every high thing that exists exalts itself against the knowledge of Christ. So when things come in your mind to block you now understand something when you are born again, when Jesus Christ has come into your life, when you are saved, sanctified and filled with his spirit and you are walking in the newness of life, the Bible says that old things are passed away behold all things become new if any man be in christ he's a what new creation that means his mind has been made new he's a new creation that means that you have to buy into what the word is saying if you're going to keep your old sins if you're going to keep your old mindset if you're going to allow the things in your past to constantly torment you then you haven't been born again you haven't allowed the power of god to free you you haven't allowed the blood of Jesus to make you brand new now listen to what I'm saying everything you've done in your past has been erased now I'm not saying that you're not gonna sometimes want to deal with certain things you may have done and you want to make it right with a person or certain things like that I understand that but I'm saying you have to allow God to free your mind and make you a new creation there is no way you can deal with what you once were and who you are now you can't deal with those those things will mess your mind up you have to let go of who you once were you know that's why we fight so hard against hip-hop when folks try to make hip-hop holy and holy hip-hop and holy gangster and holy thug all they're doing is they're bringing that past mindset and who they used to be into a new revelation and they're trying to keep the old man and the new man and you can't do that you have to be a new creation if you're going to be physically mentally emotionally and spiritually healthy you have to let go of your past and allow the power of God and his word to create a brand new future for you and that's what you walk in that's what walking out deliverance truly is it's walking in in that new man it's walking in that new mindset it's walking in that new walk physical mental emotional and spiritual abuse can create places in a person's mind that are reserved just for them did you hear what I just said this is a place when you go through something traumatic you create a place in your own mind where you can hide now the, the human mind works like that and any psychiatrist will tell you anybody that studies the brain will tell 
tell you that your mind will work to try to protect you from being over traumatized to help you deal with certain situations well what happens is your mind literally wraps around that event but that creates kind of like a pocket in your mind or a place in your mind that is reserved just for you it's like a safe place and this can become a stronghold where the enemy can hide so if your safe place a lot of young people a lot of young boys just as an example turn to masturbation when they feel re rejected by their friends or their peers or their family they'll turn to sexual pleasure girls will do the same thing this creates a safe place for them to go to a place where it only they're allowed and they keep this place hidden and secret from everyone but what it does it begins to affect their behavior in other areas it begins to affect their mindset and the worst thing of all it begins to bring guilt and shame to them so they don't feel like they're in position for God to really speak to them or really use them this is why this stronghold is so dangerous this is why God says you're sinning against your own body you're making yourself spiritually sick which could it manifest as being physically sick or mentally or emotionally sick so we don't want to have these places we want to let God deal with our traumatic situations he said he wouldn't put more on you than you can bear but a lot of times we're putting more on ourselves we're getting in bad relationships we're choosing the wrong mate we're choosing the wrong church we're choosing the wrong situation we're putting ourselves in harm's way a lot of times and in creating these pockets or these hidden places where we have to go and create a whole identity to even escape the foolishness that we've put ourselves into but a lot of times it's not even your fault it's something that may have happened to you maybe you were abused raped and neglected or cursed out all the time or whatever it is but when these pockets are created they create strongholds the enemy comes and he entertains you there so it's a place that you allow the enemy to hide in you and you can be entertained by him no one has access to this place most of the time not even God has access Access. And this causes secrets, sickness and personality flaws to develop over time. Just like the rock hides the person in the physical stronghold, a spiritual stronghold will hide and protect a hidden enemy. So when you have these strongholds, these places, these safe places, these pockets, these these loss of time areas in your life where you go to to just you and you hide, those things will turn into greater things and it'll become a great hidden secret that you're manifesting. And a lot of times it will become a drug habit because people will use drugs to try to suppress the guilt and the shame or people will turn to false religions to try to suppress the guilt and the shame or people will turn to all kinds of solutions new age theology all kinds of things to try to get healed from this pain when all they have to do is do what the word says because the stronghold is dealt with in the word but it can't be dealt with by your carnal methods listen the enemy makes a place where he is hiding a part of who you are so he can remain undetected and you will accept his agenda as your own personality or character flaw you will accept it as that's just the way i am and the enemy is hidden you know that's people that well that's just how i am you know i get mad i just curse people out or i always want to fight i always want to physically fight somebody or I always talking about killing or shooting somebody you know that that is somebody that has a flaw something going on in their lives that is hidden but they're just claiming it as a personality or character disorder you know well i gotta always have a boyfriend you know some girls i gotta always have one and always have a man all some guys i gotta have three or four girls at one time i have to always have them that is developed into a personality or character flaw that they've just accepted when it's really a stronghold of the enemy there's a reason why you feel you have to have all those women all the time there's a reason why you feel lonely whenever you don't have a boyfriend there's a reason why you know you go to that safe place and hide even from your own husband and your wife there's a reason all these behaviors are going on but we need the word of god to deal with these we need the power of god to deal with these things god can pull down that stronghold but god says that our weapons that he gives us are mighty and can discover where the stronghold is and pull the rock 
out of it. This will expose the devil and then he can be dealt with. You cannot deal with an enemy you can't see. That's why it's so important to allow the power of God to pull down these strongholds and deal with what is hiding in your mind. See, anyone that wants true deliverance will get true deliverance. Anyone that hungers and thirsts after righteousness, the Bible promises that they shall be filled, but you have to be willing to expose this thing. You have to be willing. And this doesn't mean tell all your business, every little nasty detail. And every time you get up, I thank a Lord for delivering me from sleeping with all y'all husbands in this church. And God has blessed me to move on. And now I'm doing better. Yeah, that's foolishness. You don't need to get up and do that. that I mean, you, that, that's ridiculous. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying expose it you, you go to somebody you trust somebody you know somebody that can you know maybe even keep it secret among you but you're dealing with it to help you come out of it because you don't want to incriminate everybody that you sin with they may have moved on got it right they may have confessed it to someone you don't want to just get up all the time and just drop the bomb on the church all the time or, or drop the bomb on the internet and blog it and all that kind of stuff come on y'all let's let's have some sense about this allow God to deliver you and set you free but you got to expose the stronghold you have to open up you have to pull that rock back and allow the power of god to pull down that hold that is on you our weapons are mighty through god they're spiritual weapons so when you allow god to spiritually saturate saturate the environment and the atmosphere god will bring true deliverance to you listen let's talk about exposing a stronghold real quick and then i'm going to read some of this uh daily word that i did last week and then we'll bring this to a close but there are three ways i believe we can expose strongholds in our minds and you know a lot of people a lot of times say well i didn't know i had that problem i didn't i didn't know well the power of god will reveal it to you the bible says that he would not withhold any good thing from you he'll reveal it to you if you ask him to, if you allow him to and ask him to, he will show you what is wrong. He will not keep it hidden from you. He wants you delivered. So ask God about it first. And that's the first step. You just ask God about it and say, God, there, if there's something in my life that's causing me to fall over and over again. I have this little saying that I like to use when we were children. We learned that when you catch on fire and you're supposed to stop, drop and roll to put the fire out. And I, back when I was doing youth ministry uh, full time, and God gave me something about that stop, drop, and roll. And I think it's very powerful. I'm going to share it with you. When you find yourself in a diver's temptation, when you find yourself in something, and especially something that keeps coming back all the time, when you find yourself in that temptation, I mean, right in it, you should stop, drop, and roll. You should stop what you're doing immediately, and you need to drop whatever it is, the temptation, the mindset, whatever it is that's going on, the sin, whatever you're in the midst of drop that so you stop what you're doing drop whatever's going on and then roll you roll back time you roll back time to the beginning what was it that brought you to that place that you're in that place of temptation that place of sin that safe place wherever you are at that moment roll back time and find out what was the door what was the opening what was the crack how did i get to this place what was i thinking about what thought came to my mind what in my past rose up and brought me to this place and when that happens you can expose the stronghold of that moment you can let it go and deal with it and never find yourself in that situation again and here's how you expose that stronghold the first way i believe you should do it the first thing you need to do is ask somebody a person that you admire or trust that really knows you can be honest with you most of the times and just tell you that they recognize something going on you know they'll say hey you know i see that you're dealing with this or you know you've been acting like this lately and i see you know every time you get uh, upset or get around this certain person or this happens you know you always do. and you'd be surprised how your friends or people that you trust your minister people that watch you that you trust now people that you trust godly people you'd be surprised how they could help you see something that you couldn't even see they recognize it they recognize your behavior they recognize you might be hiding something they see that you may not be telling them the whole truth about something and that is what they're in your life for so the first thing you could do is ask somebody the second thing you need 
need to do to expose a stronghold is tell somebody. If you are harboring secrets that you know are blocking your deliverance, then you need to tell someone you trust. The Bible says confess your faults one to another. That's one to another person. That's not one to everybody. That's not one to the whole church. That's not one on the internet, on Facebook and all of that. No, no. One to another person. You tell them somebody that you can trust with it. Somebody that you know may even have answers and can help you. And someone that can act as an accountability person for you. I talked about that last week. Listen to the broadcast on last week to get more on that. But you need to tell somebody. That way you release it. It's open. So asking somebody can release it and open it up. Telling somebody can release it and open it up. And finally, you need to find somebody. What do I mean by that? No matter how bad you think it is, there is a biblical example for it. Trust me, there's somebody in the word that has your situation, that had your situation, that had your problem or issue or something similar. There's somebody in the word that God brought through deliverance from murderers to sexual addictions to all kinds of things. Come on now. There's somebody that has done what you've done and there are words and prayers and power and victory in the word as an example for you. So if you can find it in the word, you can use it as your roadmap to freedom. So we got to ask somebody, tell somebody, and then find somebody. Find that example. Those three ways I believe God can bring this thing to the forefront and you can experience true deliverance from it. Listen to this. You are not a liar. You are not a thief. You are not a gossiper. You're not a slut. You're not a, ho a homosexual or a lesbian. You're not a backstabber. You're not a murderer. You're not lazy. You're not a deadbeat. You're not a bad mother or a bad father. You're not a player and you're not a failure. You're not a bad person. The stronghold of the enemy just needs to be pulled down so you can see that it is the enemy working in your mind causing you to accept something that you should not as a character flaw. It's not you. It's the enemy working in in you. Listen, God made you a perfect creation, but you were born into sin. So it's the enemy trying to operate in that sin realm to cause you to be down on yourself. But today you must face the fact that there is something wrong, that you are tired of dealing with the same issues year after year, day after day. You must confront the enemy by the spirit of God and allow God to deal with this stronghold. Listen, John 8 and 36 says, if the son therefore shall make you free guess what you shall be free indeed y'all i'm talking about walking in pure deliverance i'm talking about not having to go back i'm talking about not having to deal with the guilt and shame of your past that the power of god has already saved you from his death was so that you could be completely forgiven for your sins move from your past move ahead paul says forgetting those things that are behind me I press toward the mark of the prize of the high calling which is in Christ Jesus that means I'm not gonna keep looking back I'm not gonna let my past affect me but I'm gonna walk forward in deliverance and I'm gonna walk out my deliverance and I'm gonna reach the mark that God has for me no matter how many times I've fallen no matter how many times I may fail I'm gonna keep pressing toward the mark until I get it right I'm gonna keep doing the things that need to be done to make sure that I get it right. Come on, saint of God. You're going to have to get tough about this. This is a fight. This is a battle. But the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty. Let's pray. Father God, in Jesus name, Lord, I believe your word to be true. I believe God that you are working things out in all of our lives. God, that we can walk in freedom. We can walk in deliverance. Deliverance. God, we can walk this thing out. We don't have to be tossed about to and fro by every wind of doctrine, by doubtful thoughts and shame and guilt and all these things that come. God, I believe that these are strongholds and I believe that many can be blessed, can be changed, can be set free for real, God. They don't have to resort to the carnal ways of man. They don't have to resort to mind control and hypnosis and a lot of these different methods, God. I believe, God, that we can can be free once and for all, God, and we don't have to walk 
in sin, but we can walk in the newness of life. And God, we can be healed, delivered, and set free by your power only. God, I believe it and I serve you because of it in Jesus name. And we'll be back next week with another True Church Perspective. You've been listening to a True Church Perspective with Pastor G. Craig Lewis. Visit us at truth-church.org or at exministries.com. If you desire to support this ministry with your donations, please send them to P.O. Box 24870, Fort Worth, Texas 76124 or donate online at truth-church.org.